Hi, welcome to Mac 7 tutorial number 48. This is on Freak Shift, and it's going to be a little bit interesting today because what I find is that I overload my computer whenever I do the sound for this because I have to use the microphone that I'm also using to do this narration and it all feeds around in a giant loop. But I can still show you how to do it. I'll just stop, switch the sound, and then continue. So that's the only way I can think of doing this. Freak Shift, what the heck is it? Let's type a new object and type freak shift. There it is. Comes right up there. F-R-E-Q-S-H-I-F-T tilde. So what we need is a little uh, input and output for the freak shift. And that will take the form of type an N and type E-Z-A-D-C. That's the microphone part of it. And then we also want the E, Z, uh, D, A, C, confusing. That's the speaker part of it. And of course, whenever you have a microphone and a speaker, you have the problem of feedback. But we'll get to that more than we want to soon. So the inputs from the microphone goes here. And the, uh, whoops, no it doesn't, erase that. What we first need is a gain, because we like to be able to turn things down. So gain tilde, uh, I don't really like them that shape, I like them nice and wide for my big fat fingers. And here, in, oh. There we go, got that stopped, okay. Uh, input comes into the gain control, that will come over here to frequency shift, or freak shift as we like to call it, because we like to say it that way. And then we're going to option click on this, and put this here, and put this here, and then the output of this is going to go to the left hand gain control, output from here goes to the right. Now. Frequency shift does this weird thing where it shifts like half of the sound wave up and half of it down and one of these controls the upper and one of these, this one controls the negative band and this one controls the positive band. All very interesting but you hardly need to even know about it um, because it all sounds so good when it comes out the other side. So the final thing that we need here is the, um, is the what? The float box. There we go. Type an F and you've got one. There it is. And then let's just raise this number by, I just locked my patcher, by 200 hertz. Okay? And now we're going to try something uh, that I'm not sure how to do. But, um, we'll figure it out as we go here. So um, I'm going to turn the sound on and I'm going to start turning this up and we'll start to hear the freak shift in the background. Turn this one up a little, this one up a little more, and there. Can you hear it in the background? Okay, so here's the problem. I'm closer to the mic than the speaker is, and if I turn it up too much, it'll just give me feedback. So, um, uh, what to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? Well, um, actually, I think it, I think it illustrates the point pretty well. I'll just move this microphone over toward. Yeah, you can just hear it wanting to feed back. But it, you'll notice if you turn this one up and this one down, it makes your voice kind of high and tinny. And then if you do it the other way around, it really, whoops, and then it gives you nothing when they're both down. But if you turn that one down and this one up, you get the total Darth Vader thing going on. And that's the really impressive stuff. This is the thing you want to use on your telephone when ne'er-do-wells call you. Get lost, tele, 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 telemarketer. Ah! So, 
I'm going to turn them both down there. That actually works pretty well. I can almost I can almost manage that. So that's freak shift. Um, and oh, and I was going to say, if you turn this number backwards, it's the same as having these reversed. So you don't really need to do it. You can try it, but you'll you'll instead of getting this nerdy sound, if you go negative, then it goes. Uh, back to the Darth Vader thing, but the slides are in the opposite direction. So, um, have fun with Freak Shift, and um, I hope you enjoy it. You can run just about anything in here. It doesn't need to be a microphone, so if you've got a movie playing or whatever, you want to hear the sound of music, um, the way, the way, um, the way your father always intended it, then run the sound of music out through this thing. In any case, patch well and, um, you know, don't sound like a nerd. Take care. See you next time.